Hello, friends. As you know, I usually write my own fanfic, but I make an exception when one of my talented college friends writes something for me to read on my channel. The official title of this fanfic is Different Kind of Manly by Amory Rose. And you guys are in for a treat. I'll read it right now. No way! I can't do that! It's not manly! Kirishima protested. He knew that catching the villain was important, but there had to be another way. Come on, we know that she's going to be there in an hour. You looked at your phone, exasperated. That barely leaves us with enough time to get you suited up. Suited up? He shook his head. Wearing a dress is not suiting up, and it's not like people aren't going to be able to tell that I'm not a girl. I'm very obviously a guy. I exude manliness. Look, you snapped. Do you want to catch Deflect or not? It's not my fault that she's going to rob a debutante luncheon, a place where there are going to be no guys. If we want to catch her without tipping her off that we're there, or accidentally hurting all the rich people she's trying to rob, we have to go undercover. Kirishima uncomfortably rubbed his neck. But it's... Not manly, I know, you finished, brushing past him as you walked into your closet to where your formal dress is hung. If you really don't want to do this, I can do it by myself. What? You can't go against her alone. You could get hurt. Kirishima paced outside the closet. You could tell that he was starting to break. Something that rarely happened to someone with a hardening quirk. If you pushed him just a little more, you could get him to join you on the mission. No, I think I'll be fine. The two of us have been trailing Deflect for a while now. Besides, we almost got her last time. I can do this. Kirishima walked into the closet to stand by you. The only reason we almost got her last time was because we worked together. No offense, but without my quirk, you have no way of breaking her force fields, and you and civilians could get really hurt. You can't do this alone. You need me. You slid a dress along the rod but your eyes locked with Kirishima's. You're right, I do need you. The question is, are you going to make me do this alone, or are you going to man up and put on a dress? You saw determination light up in Kirishima's eyes, and he nodded. Okay, let's do this. Relief swept over you, and you pulled a dress off the rack and put it in his hands. Perfect, go wash the gel out of your hair and put this on. I know exactly what to do with you. One hour later. You and Kirishima walked into the debutante luncheon with no problems. You honestly couldn't believe that you had actually gotten him to go. With the makeup you had put on him and his hair arranged into soft curls, he actually looked like he belonged there. He definitely had more of a tomboy look, especially with those sharp teeth, but no one stopped him when he entered the room. So far, the plan was a go. You nudged Kirishima and spoke under your breath. We need to go socialize with the other debutantes so we don't look suspicious. But keep a lookout for Deflect. She's probably going to look like a matron, so make sure you focus on them. Okay, Kirishima murmured. You noticed him wringing his hands in nervousness. You turned to face him and took his hands in your own. He looked down at you eyes shining with thinly veiled panic. Hey, it's okay, you reassured him. Be confident in yourself and no one will look twice. Trust me. Kirishima let out a large breath and stood up straight. Okay, I got this. I am the womanliest person here. You laughed and let go of his hands and pulled him to a group of girls and started talking. Before long, you felt a gentle nudge on your arm. You turned to look at Kirishima. Look. He pointed his chin in the direction of a middle-aged woman walking in. It's Deflect. You recognized her from the time you spent looking for her around the city. She seemed comfortable in her dress as she walked towards two other matrons and started talking with them. You remember the plan? You popped your fingers and bounced lightly on the balls of your feet, warming up for the upcoming fight. As soon as she activates her quirk, you spring in and remove the people closest to her as I go for the offense. As soon as I make her use the entirety of her quirk to focus on me, the bystanders escape while we capture her. 
Kirishima's eyes glistened with anticipation. He radiated confidence, and for a moment, he forgot about deflect and the plan, and just stood in awe of the boy, no, the man, beside you. He may have been wearing a dress and makeup, but Kirishima had never looked so manly in his life, and it had nothing to do with his outward appearance. You smiled to yourself. You'd have to tell him after. It would make him really happy. You were shaken back to reality when a barely visible sheen appeared over the front door and windows. Deflect had activated her quirk, blocking all the exits with her force fields. Kirishima tensed beside you, preparing to harden the second you moved. You crouched down, the springs in your calves compressed, then released, sending you straight towards the matrons beside Deflect. Everyone move to the edge of the room, now! You yelled as you grabbed the two matrons and sprung away from Deflect. Kirishima hardened and rushed her, yelling as he threw rapid punches at the force field she created to defend herself. Springer, Red Riot, I didn't recognize you without your costumes. Deflect glowered at the two of you. I didn't think you would attack at an indoor function like this, but it doesn't matter. I have the advantage here. You sprang around the room, collecting the bystanders in the corner by the door, while dodging the near-invisible discs, Deflect shot at you. Once you had all the people near the exit, you yelled to Kirishima, Now! Kirishima's body hardened to its absolute maximum. Red Riot Unbreakable! He yelled and punched Deflect's force field so hard it cracked. Deflect stumbled back and turned her whole attention to your partner. You saw the shimmer of force field disappear from in front of the door. Go! Get out of here! You yelled and the bystanders rushed out the door. You heard sirens coming from the distance. The police were on their way. You stood over the bystanders, making sure they would all stay safe, anxious to join the fight and help your friend, though he seemed to be doing a pretty good job by himself. Crack splintered across Deflect's force field, and you could see the fear in her eyes as she realized that she couldn't keep it up much longer. In a last attempt, Deflect sent a small force field disc from the side and blindsided Kirishima. He stumbled as he was pushed several feet away. You recognize Deflect starting up her ultimate escape move, an impenetrable dome that completely covered herself while allowing her to run away. It's how she got away last time. Kirishima was too far away and wouldn't make it to her before the dome touched the ground. You crouched, activating your quirk and calculating the angles for the jump. Red Riot! Wall! You yelled. Kirishima immediately turned towards you and hardened, crossing his arms in a defensive position. You sprung towards him and your feet planted on his arms. With the combined force of your springs and Kirishima pushing you forward, you streaked towards Deflect and slid under the force field dome just before it closed. You bounced around inside the dome, attacking Deflect with such speed that she didn't have any time to defend or attack back. You landed safely on the ground as the force field dome disappeared. You caught Deflect before she fell unconscious on the floor. Listener, that was awesome! Kirishima rushed towards you. Well, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten into the dome. You're the real hero here. The police rushed into the room, and you handed Deflect over to them. There were reporters and a crowd outside. You both knew you should go out and talk to them, but before you could, Kirishima turned to you. Thank you, listener for helping me to get past my insecurities about wearing a dress. I'm glad I was here to help you with this fight. I couldn't have done it without you. His words made you remember what you wanted to tell him earlier. You know, it takes a real man to be confident enough with his masculinity to do what you did today. You've really proved your manliness today. You really think so? Kirishima's eyes glowed as he looked down at you. Really? You bumped his arm with your own. Come on, pretty man. The press is waiting. Okay, he laughed, and followed you as you walked out the door. Hello, guys. It's Anya Kay. I hope you enjoyed this story by my friend, Amory Rose. And next up, I'm coming out with part three of the Aizawa story. It's already mostly written, and I'm super excited. 
So be sure to hit the notification bell so that you get all the updates and are the first to see my videos. Also, I hope you have a wonderful day. Be sure to take care of yourself wherever you are. Okay, bye. See ya.